What's up guys? Welcome to the second week of our Christmas giveaway. Still got four things left to give away, so today we're gonna to be giving away our second two, which is our USB rechargeable lantern and also our XTM tire deflator. Hope, uh, hope everyone's been uh, keeping cool as we're coming into the hot part of summer. Yeah, we kind of kicked it off. It was a cool start to summer on the 1st of December. It was really cold and then bang, straight into like, you know, mid to high 30s, uh, imperfectly. So. Yeah, so we've been sweating up a storm here. Yeah. We haven't got any aircon in the house. We've kind of like got all the fans we could find out <laughs> and just position them all around the living room. But Backward of cooling from the sweat. <laughs> doing what we can just to keep cool. Um, anyway, so it's going to work the same as it did last week. So the lantern, which was my idea, Bianca's picked her her favorite two comments the most creative comments from all the entries in that previous video and Daniel's done the same with the tire deflator so exactly so we'll jump straight into it let's pick a winner for our USB rechargeable lantern all got right. a couple of favorites there so I've got yeah got these two saved so the first one is from Eric Verdell Verdell I can't say your last name I'm sorry um, what a bright idea, guys. That lantern would surely brighten up my trip around Australia next year, especially as my wife climbs out of our rooftop tent to use the dunny. Happy Christmas to you both also. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. And yeah, Merry Christmas to you guys Merry too. Merry Christmas, Eric. Uh, all right, so the second entry is from Sean Matthews, and he says, I believe the lantern would be a much needed accessory for me. As a solo camper, I need light to see when I'm going to the dunny. Falling off the edge into the river isn't something I'd prefer to do again. So, <laughs> again. <laughs> well, sounds like you got a bit of a story there, Sean. Um, yeah, wouldn't mind hearing that one. It yeah. sounds a bit, a bit of an adventure. Yeah, a um, couple of really good entries there. Um, uh, yeah, and we've, we've all been there. Yeah, you have lights always handy to take to the dunny, so. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of both these entries. I love Eric's pun with the bright idea. That didn't go unnoticed, so good work with that pun, Eric. And I love the story of Sean's uh, falling into the river again. That would be, that'd be a nightmare. Yeah, God. Oh. <laughs> All right, so out of those two, oh, tough one. I'm going to go with Sean with his story about falling into the river while going to the dunny. So congratulations, Sean. Well done. USB rechargeable yeah, lantern is all yours. We'll, um, we'll go and reply to your winning comment on the original video. Get in touch with you and get that sent out as soon as possible. Yeah, congratulations. Pretty jealous too. That one's a, that's a deluxe model, that one. A bit, <laughs> bit better than the old one yeah. we've been using. <laughs> so, all right, I'll... Uh... Oh wait, I've already chosen a couple of comments and Daniel can read them. No, I haven't chosen comments. It's my turn you to chose the, comments. You chose the lantern <laughs> comments. All right, so I've selected two finalists for the XTM tire deflator. What I meant is I get to choose who wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. That's a, this is a good prize, I reckon. Yeah, I should have put an entry in for this. It would have been handy. You just wanted to win all of them. Yeah. Especially the little Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Oh, I know. Keen on that. No one gets that. I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so first entry for the tire deflator is from Thomas Brown who says the shovel slash tire deflator as I'm about to buy my first car and that being a four wheel drive. So already good 10 points there for getting a four wheel, four -wheel drive. Um, that would really come in handy when I go into the beach. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Can't really go to a beach without a good tire deflator. Yeah, that's, that's true. And our second ent entry comes from Andrew Dundas who says, I would feel a bit deflated if I didn't win the tire deflator. Oh. And then goes on to say, don't let this fan down. Oh no. <laughs> Well, we, if we give it to you, we will be letting you down because it's a tire deflator. We'll be letting you down four times yeah. if you have four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. okay. So, let me have a look at them. Mm -hmm. Have we got Andrew or Thomas? Oh, look, it's pretty hard, but I think I'm going to have to go with Andrew just because I really like the pun and it's creative. Uh, but Thomas, good luck with your new car. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, don't... Uh, don't be discouraged. <laughs> yeah, we've all been um, there with our first four-wheel drive. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of right of passage. You know, you got to dig yourself out with your hands first and then, then you get a shovel. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I remember, then, uh, like, I let my tyres down with uh, one of those big biro pen lids for oh, the yeah. first couple of years. I used to just use sticks off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you just might find a small stick yeah. and hold in the thing. You find a way. At, you, you find a way. They're at the same sort of level, then it's all good. <laughs> yeah, you've got a couple of mates in the car, get a, get a little twig each, you can all let them yeah. down at the same time. So yeah, well done, well, to, well done to the winners. So we've got Andrew who won the XTM tire deflator and Sean for the lantern. So we'll get those prizes out to you as soon as we can get your postage information. Congratulations, make sure you keep your entries coming in for our final two prizes to be given away next yes. week. We've got the very hot topic of the, ha oh, oh, that was unintended. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that was unintended, makes it a little better. Sure it was. The hot topic of the fry pan. <laughs> um, what I meant is we've had a lot of comments on this already, so um, 
I don't have to choose though. I have to choose a couple, but then you get to pick the winner. So I'll pick the winner out of I've got whatever a bit you. Of reading to do. And uh, the little Swiss Army knife, which is lonely at the moment, nobody's entered yet. Yeah, get your entries in. You got a pretty uh, hot chance to win. <laughs> don't get your entries in it because if you don't, then I get to keep it. <laughs> uh, but no, we'll, we'll send it out. But yeah, all right. Go to the next week's. Yeah, anyway, that was a lot easier to film with Bianca in person as opposed to our <laughs> virtual conference last yes, week. Definitely so much easier being here, although I was going to say it's cooler here, but it, it, oh, it's not it cooler is, here. but it isn't because my room's air conditioned up there. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks for all your creative entries. Been mm. fantastic once again, reading through yeah. all those comments and having a good yeah, laugh during and, the um, week. Yeah, it's just really nice to hear back from you guys. You know, like it's, uh, I don't know, it's a nice touch to it, especially coming into Christmas, you know, it's a really good time to share around and share the joy and the merriment. So yeah, it's been great. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in a week's time for our final week of the Christmas giveaway. Cheers. Thanks, Happy Christmas.